Now, KWWL Sports. Today, the public got their first look at the Iowa Hawkeyes ahead of the 2024 season at the annual Kids Day Open Practice. For both returning veterans and new members of the program, today was a great opportunity to get in front of the home crowd in Kinnick Stadium. Before the practice got underway, Iowa players signed autographs for the young fans in attendance, a huge part of the annual Kids Day Open Practice. Today was the first glimpse of the new offense under offensive coordinator Tim Lester. The offense was noticeably different with more receivers sent in motion and opportunities for creativity. McNamara also looked healthy, scrambling out of the pocket several times. However, the passing game struggled against the stout Iowa defense. Kirk Ferentz summed up what he saw out of the Hawkeyes. Hardly game ready and first time we had officials out here. So you know, I ran out of paper for penalties. Uh, a lot to clean up there, but you know, I, th I think you know, overall the effort was good. The guys have been solid. A lot, lot to work on still. There were plenty of positives from Kids Day. The defense once again looked up to the Iowa standard. And on the injury front, the Hawkeyes are in good shape. Both running back LeSean Williams and safety Xavier Wampo were held out today due to injury, but Coach Ferentz says that both of those are minor. Cade McNamara took the vast majority of the first team reps at quarterback today, but Northwestern transfer Brendan Hill had his chances as well. I don't read too much into it, but it's to get a fair assessment of a guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, know, you got to let them work. You know, he's with the one offense, but he's going against one defense or is it the two defense? And we, we work a lot more one versus one typically. Another standout aspect of today was the special teams with kicker Drew Stevens and freshman punter Reese Dakin both looking outstanding. I'll have more on that aspect of the team tonight at 10.